What up, squad? Welcome back to the channel. So this is a very important video, guys. Listen, freedom, 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 freedom is accessed through discipline. Whatever goals you want to achieve, whatever life you want to build, discipline is the way. Motivation ain't shit. Motivation will get you nowhere. So stop relying on motivation. You need to be obsessed with developing discipline. Listen, I wasn't always disciplined. I'll admit that I was a lazy mf -er, bro. I was lazy. But once I developed discipline, that gave me access to the finer things in life. My kids adore me. I have the freedom, financial freedom, the time freedom to do and be wherever I want to be whenever I want to. I now have access to any woman that I want. You know why? Because discipline is sexy, bro. Discipline is masculine. When a woman sees you being disciplined, it makes her feel safe. This is nature. So cut the crap. Listen to every word in this video, take some notes if you need to, and really develop the discipline because discipline is like a muscle. It's a mental muscle. It has to be conditioned. It has to be worked. You have to, you have to work on it every day. And I'm going to show you how in this video. But before I get into the details, hit the like button right now, guys. Hit the like button right now. If you are a man or a woman who is here to develop discipline, I want you to hit the like button right now. Let's get this video to 4,000 likes. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right now, all right? All right, so the first step in developing rock solid, unshakable discipline is to understand. And I mentioned this in the intro. You have to understand that discipline is a muscle that takes repetitions, right? Resistance is what builds the muscle, right? It's being able, being able to push against resistance. So every opportunity that you have to exercise discipline, right? When you find yourself in a situation where you have to do something, but you don't feel like doing it, this is an opportunity to develop your discipline. This is an opportunity to work that discipline muscle, right? So that's the first step, which leads me to the second step. You have to have awareness. You have to have self-awareness. You have to understand when that pivotal moment happens, where you are faced with a decision, you have to have the awareness that you are in that moment where you have that opportunity in front of you to get a rep in, to exercise your discipline by choosing to do the thing that you don't feel like doing and you do it anyway. Because every time you do it anyway, you are essentially working that discipline muscle. So developing the awareness is key because a lot of this stuff happens on a subconscious level. We are programmed to escape things that make us uncomfortable. You have to break up that programming. You have to realize when your lower self is trying to keep you stagnated. You have to have the awareness of that moment. Without the awareness, none of this shit works. You can't do anything without the awareness. Step three, you have to make being disciplined a part of your identity. It's something magical that happens when we attach a thing to our identity. I am a black man. I am a strong father. I am a garbage man. I am a whatever. Insert whatever you want to say about yourself. You show up in that way, right? When If you tell yourself, listen, I'm a winner. Right. And that's your attitude about life. You attach winning to your identity. You're going to you're going to win at all costs because you know what happens when you don't win? You feel like you're lying to yourself and our brains don't like that. Our minds don't like that. So when you attach discipline to your identity, you say, listen, my name is Sam and I am disciplined. When you show up in a way that is not disciplined, you're going to feel like a liar. You're not going to like that. So it's going to naturally inspire you to be more disciplined when you attach discipline to your identity. Put that shit in your bio. Put it in the background on your phone. I don't care what you have to do. I want you to affirm to yourself every day that I am a man or a woman of discipline. Discipline is the key to my freedom. So I am constantly every day working at becoming more and more disciplined. Tell yourself that every day. All right, let me calm down. Here's a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Now, I want to keep this light because I like having fun when I do this stuff, but this is a very serious topic. Manscaped recently partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help bring some awareness to this very serious issue. Testicular cancer is the number one form of cancer in men between the ages of 15 and 35, and that is alarming. 
because I didn't even know much about testicular cancer before working with Manscaped. So as I started to do some more research on my own, because my curiosity was sparked, I started to get excited about bringing this information to you because it's important that we know about this stuff, fellas. So after you grab your grooming kit from Manscaped and you're down there doing your thing, make sure you do a regular once a month routine check just to make sure everything is okay and talk to your doctor if you find anything that's concerning. So now when I'm in the shower using my favorite Manscaped product, the Lawn Mower 4.0, because it's waterproof and I use it to shave my chest, I use it to shave my balls, and while I'm down there, I'm just checking to make sure that there's no lumps, there's nothing going on. And again, the awareness is super important. So if you want to support Manscaped in the effort of shaving balls and saving balls, I want you to go to manscaped.com forward slash TCS, or you can make a direct donation to the TSC at testiculaircancersociety.org. And as always, guys, you can use my code at manscaped.com to get 20% off and free shipping. Join the Manscaped movement and don't forget to take care of your balls. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring today's video. All right, step four. Now I'm gonna have to go back to step two on this one. Remember, awareness. Being aware of the moment, being aware of the opportunity to exercise your discipline, being aware of the moment that something is being presented to you that you don't feel like doing, but you know you should do it. The awareness, right? Now, what you have to do is you have to reinforce your desire to do the thing that you don't feel like doing. Now, I'll explain how to do that. We are naturally driven to do things that give us a dopamine hit. And what you need to do is train your mind to delay the gratification, right? For example, you eat a cookie right now, you get that dopamine hit right now, right? The sugar hits your system and you feel all good inside, right? That's what we wanna do as humans. We always wanna feel good. We wanna feel good right now. But if you understand that if you delayed the gratification of feeling good, right? If you say, nah, I don't wanna feel good right now, I wanna feel good later. Right. Feeling greater later is always better in any situation. It's always greater later. But the thing is, the goal that you're trying to achieve, it, it's not going to give you that dopamine hit right now. So you have to use your imagination. You have to use your imagination in the moment. Going back to the awareness, you are presented with an opportunity. You are in the middle of a situation. You know you need to go to the gym, but you don't feel like it. Now, step two was the awareness. You have the awareness. And now with step four, what you wanna do is use your imagination to visualize you reaching the goal and find a way using your imagination. Now this may take practice. This is not something that every single person can pick up right now, but we all have the ability to do it. Using your imagination to create an image in your mind that's going to create a positive emotion in your body that's going to give you somewhat of the dopamine hit right now, instantly. And again, back to step two, you have to have the awareness. Once you realize you're in that moment, now you need to close your eyes and visualize however you need to do that and create a positive emotion in your body by visualizing the desired outcome that is not gonna happen right now, but it will happen when you make the right decision over and over again. So training your mind to delay the gratification by using visualization to reinforce the delayed decision, right? The decision to use your willpower to do the thing that you need to do, even if you don't feel like it. Now understand that this is a process that's going to take time. I didn't develop this rock solid discipline overnight and I'm still developing my discipline. It happens by making a decision in every single moment to exercise your willpower and your discipline. It's a constant thing. You don't just wake up one day and have discipline. It happens incrementally over time and it takes intention and it takes maintenance. I'm a, I'm a very disciplined person, but I, but even now I slip up. I slip up. I have times where I'm lazy when it comes to discipline. So I have to maintain my discipline. But you guys have to commit yourself to this process and use these steps that I gave you in this video to do it slowly. It takes time. So be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Listen, I go into depth in my program, right? The 12 week transformation jumpstart program. I teach you the Kung Fu, 
the mental kung fu that makes achieving any fitness goal easy. All it's going to take is some perspective shifts. All it's going to take is a little mental rewiring. So grab the program. This program has changed thousands of lives. The link is in the description below. All right. And remember, guys, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace. Yes, you're welcome for making that video because I know it just helps you. And I want you to understand this. Listen, you, you can transform your body. You can have the body of your dreams. You just need the right information and you need to apply it. So check out these two very helpful playlists. There's one that's going to give you information on nutrition and one that's going to give you information on exercise. Good luck on your journey and thank you for watching my videos.